The raptors, obviously, they're terrifying in the films, so uh, we've tried to keep that element of them, but obviously take the edge off it slightly. Um, so um, there's some hands-on raptor stuff that I could show you shortly, but it's, it's, I think the coolest thing about the raptors is, is the pounce mechanics. So when you least expect it, if you're in an area where raptors are around, you can get pounced on at any time. The camera goes really dynamic, close in, you have to uh, button bash to get the Raptor off of you. It's really, even though I've played the levels lots of times, when I'm sat there reviewing with headphones on, it still terrifies me. Um, but one of the cool, funny things about Raptors, actually, to take the edge off, is if you recall from films two and three, there's quite a few characters that have um, a camera. So we use their flash to um, just stun the Raptors to, to temporarily um, get rid of them, and it will bring a small sort of... Uh, picture up on the screen of what you've taken of the uh, of the raptor. Can you talk about the chases? Those are a big part of the movies and how you're implementing those in this game. Um, yeah, obviously you get chased a lot in the Jurassic movies. So we've got a couple of sections at least in each movie where you're being chased by the dinosaurs. So for example, the T-Rex chase. Uh, we've got the Spinosaurus chase. Um, we've got the attack on the camp in... Uh, the Lost World, where the T-Rex chases um, the characters and, and they end up in the waterfall. And lots of other cool chases uh, throughout the game. Now, one of the coolest things about the chases is the fact that we're unlocking bonus chases when you complete the movie. So you can replay those levels where you're playing as the dinosaurs being chased. So we replace Muldoon, Ellie and Ian Malcolm in the Jeep in the T-Rex chase. And we put raptors in there. So you have a raptor drive in the car, which is a lot of fun. Um, the Spino chase, we replace Billy and Alan with a, an Ankylosaurus and a, a Triceratops. And even cooler than that, we also unlock bonus chases where you get to play as the dinosaurs doing the chasing. So you can play, replay the T-Rex level as the T-Rex chasing the Jeep. And speaking of the T-Rex, can you talk a little bit about how you're making it a little bit more kid-friendly with uh, some of the gameplay elements like the uh, squeaky dog toy? That's right, yeah. Well... Uh, again, just with our younger audience in mind, we wanted to take the edge off the really big, scary dinosaurs just a little. So we had discussions. We thought it would be cute to treat them all, almost like large dogs or puppies. So um, we use things like a big squeaky bone to distract the T-Rex. Later on, there's a, a big rubber duck that gets uh, thrown, uh, catapulted through the air, and the T-Rex goes off and chases it and so on. So it's, it's really quite cute, but they still, you know, they still maintain that sort of terrifying side as you as you saw and it sounded like uh you know some of the actors sounded like some of the actors from the movie are you pulling stuff from the actual movies for the thing or are these sound alike you're working with um well we're very fortunate obviously being owned by warner brothers they've got a huge amount of experience in in um uh gathering sort of uh reference material for us but in the case of the vo we're currently just in negotiations so we're hopeful but we can't actually reveal specifically what uh what our voiceover cast will be at this point. And when it comes to the actual world itself, how are you building upon the actual technology that you use in past LEGO games to bring this park to life? Well, um, again, we've got huge experience in making the games now, so we're always looking at ways to sort of push the boundaries. Uh, the hub areas in particular are something that we're really um, proud of in LEGO Jurassic World because everybody wants to explore Isla Nublar and Isla Sauna. So we've, we've used the technology to make those areas bigger and better and more full of content, more, have, you know, a higher density of gameplay in there. 